How's it going everyone and welcome to the first ever video from the Foundry channel and today we're going to be melting some aluminum. Check it out. Alright guys, so the first thing we have to do is to start up the foundry itself. So I'm just going to take this homemade fire starter and put it right in the middle of the foundry. My foundry is pretty much just a big steel bucket lined with clay. Alright, now that the fire starter is in there, I'm going to take a few pieces of newspaper, probably about 10, and I'm just going to line the inside with it, just enough to start a good fire. Alright, now that the newspaper is in, I'm just going to take some sticks. These are just dry pine sticks. The drier the wood, the faster it'll light. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the newspaper, putting them around the fire starter until it has enough. Alright, so now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of lighter fluid just so it can start up a bit faster. Alright, so now it's time to light the fire. So I'm going to take a barbecue lighter and just light the fire starter right in the middle. And as you can see, as soon as that's going, everything else just kind of bursts into flames. Just like that. So in order to power this foundry, I'm mainly using charcoal briquettes. These are just little small pieces of charcoal as you can see here. And yeah, they work really well because they burn very hot. So here they are and I'm just going to start throwing a few pieces into the burning fire. And these catch on fire pretty quick. So after a few minutes in there, I'm going to turn on a vacuum and the charcoal will really start to get hot. Alright, so maybe five minutes later and we're ready to turn on the vacuum. So I'm just going to prepare it and then there it is. You can see it there and let's turn it on now. All right, so you can see we just turned it on. All that stuff coming up is just ashes from running the foundry previously. All right, so now maybe 10 minutes later, you can see the charcoal is glowing red hot, which is a great sign. And it also means that we're ready to put in the crucible. A crucible is pretty much just where the aluminum goes into and where it melts down into a liquid. Alright, so I'll show you that now. So my crucible that I'm using is basically just a big cast iron cup. And it works really well because it insulates the heat and it gets really hot. So I'm just going to put that right on top of the charcoal, making sure that it's nice and level so it doesn't fall over. And then I'm just going to put charcoal all the way around it, filling it up right to the top. And once that's full to the top, I'm going to let it sit for another few minutes and then the charcoal should be hot enough to start melting. So let's check on it then. Alright guys, a few minutes later and let's see how the charcoal is doing. Yep, so right away I can see that it's glowing red hot, which is a great sign and that means we can start melting. Alright, so what I have for aluminum today is just a few pop cans, an old engine part from a car, and then just some other scraps from previous foundries. So I'm going to start with adding a few pop cans. I prefer to start with pop cans just because they melt really fast and as soon as there's some aluminum in the pot, everything else just melts a lot faster. So I'm just going to put two cans in the crucible because that's all I have and I'll check on those in maybe a few more minutes and see what they look like when they're molten. Alright guys, let's see how the pop cans are doing. They've been in there for maybe one or two minutes. And I'll see what they look like. Alright, so right now it doesn't really look like much, but if you look closely, you can see a tiny bit of molten aluminum in there. Pop cans aren't the best for melting just because they don't produce a lot of aluminum and most of it is just slag, which is material that doesn't melt. Alright, it's time to add a bit more aluminum, so this time I just have some scraps and I'm going to throw those in there. These are good just because I've already removed the slag for them and they will melt a lot cleaner. So I'm going to check on them, they've been in there for another 5 minutes, and I'm going to see if they are melted. Okay, so as you can see these melted a lot better than the pop cans because there's a ton more aluminum in there this time, and it looks a lot cleaner. So I think I'm only going to need a few more pieces of aluminum and we'll be ready to pour the ingots. Alright guys, so I've added a few more pieces of aluminum. As you can see there, it's a lot more full. But there's also a lot more slag on the top, so I'm just going to have to take that off with 
this spike that I have. So I'm just going to skim it off the top and do that a few times and we'll be ready to pour it. Alright guys, so I'm just going to take the crucible out of the foundry and place it on the ground so that I can get a better grip on it. What I'm using to cast my ingots is just an old steel muffin pan. So I'm just going to pour the aluminum into there. I think I'll be able to get three ingots out of this. Maybe two and a half. And yeah, that looks good right there. So I'm going to let these cool for a few minutes just so I, they're hard enough to take out of the pan. And I'll check them on that. Alright guys, it's been a few minutes, these things are still very hot, so I'm just going to pop them out of the pan and see what they look like. Alright, there they are. So I'm going to have to cool these down with a bit of water and then probably wait another few minutes just so they're cool enough to touch. Alright guys, you can see just how hot these are because of the steam coming off as soon as water touches them. Because the water is basically just vaporizing as soon as it hits it. So yeah, these are definitely going to need a few more minutes to cool. Alright guys, here they are. These are the two best ingots I got, and they're nice and cool to the touch now, and shiny, and they probably weigh about half a pound in total. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you want to see next on the Foundry channel. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.